Hello everyone. Welcome to the chemical engineering simulation series. Today we are going to learn how to simulate the equilibrium reaction. So, simulating the equilibrium reaction is an important thing because we will see many equilibrium reactions in the chemical engineering industry. So, our objective of this simulation is to learn how to simulate the equilibrium reaction, simulation of equilibrium reactor, find out energy required or produced during the reaction in the conversion of nitrogen. Here, it will be the conversion of reactant. I am mistakenly write nitrogen because we are going to use the process of a uh, Haber process, the process of production of ammonia from nitrogen. And here is the example that we will use will be the production of ammonia using hydrogen and nitrogen. Reaction condition will be 100 degree centigrade and 170 bar pressure. Inlet stream will be 1000 kg per hour of 100 degree centigrade and 170 bar pressure that contains 0.25 mole fraction of nitrogen and 0.75 mole fraction of hydrogen. I am choose this because if you look at the reaction, so it is a 1 mole of nitrogen react with 3 mole of hydrogen which is basically 1 by 4 uh, mole fraction of nitrogen and uh, it will produce 2 mole of ammonia. And for this reaction, the equilibrium constant that we are going to consider is 1.2 bar itself. And the equilibrium uh, constant is 1.2 bar square. We, are, we might have the, our concentration in terms of the partial pressure that we are going to set up in our equilibrium reaction. So, you just need to note down the reaction conditions with the 100 degrees and 170 bar pressure and the mole fraction of nitrogen and nitrogen in the industry. For that we require during the simulation. So now let's go to the simulation. Open the DW uh, You now go to new steady state simulation. Here, uh, click on next. Add uh, in the simulation configuration visa. Add the uh, nitrogen in the search bar. You will search nitrogen. Here you will see the nitrogen formula is added to. Similarly, Click on hydro, uh, write hydrogen in the search bar. You will see hydrogen H2 here. Now, next we need to add ammonia. So, we will add ammonia here. We will go to the next one. Now, you can see this is a simple property package. These are the packages that are used to calculate the thermodynamics properties of our reaction mixture or the component we have selected. So, for the this you we will consider the ping Robinson leak as a PR plus NP. Uh, this will also a different topic how to select the property package that we are going to cover during one of our video. Now click on next. Here it comes system of units. So by default it is SI, but you see a temperature is in Kelvin and we have chosen the temperature in centigrade. So if we choose the C5, we have temperature in centigrade, mass flow in KZ per hour, pressure in bar which is our reaction condition. So, using this uh, system of unit will be more convenient to set up our uh, reaction system or to set up our simulation. So, we will select it and click on next. Uh, in behavior, you click next. Undo, redo, this is a new feature that added. Click on finish. Now, you will see the proceed here. So, from here, you will have proceed object. Go to the reactor. From reactor, select the equilibrium reactor. Once you select the equilibrium reactor, we need to rename the streams. Click on the one. When you double click on this, it will open. You just need to make it as an inlet uh, stream. Or I will use a hyphen in the stream. <coughs> and click on enter. Uh, now, uh, this is zooming in and zooming out. You can use your mouse wheel or CTRL minus is also works. Everything now click on to rename it as a outlet, uh, not outlet, we will make it output stream. 
positive vector top and uh, once you have this vector name will be change on the flow key similarly make it as outlet output stream 1 click on enter now you have uh, this one click on the reactor we will make it as a equilibrium reactor so what now uh, i will do uh, <coughs> i will go to the inlet stream and put the inlet reaction conditions that are it is at 100 degree centigrade 170 bar of the pressure you need to put 170 bar and click on enter Compound amount we know in mole fraction by default it is in mole fraction. Nitrogen we know 0.25. Hydrogen we know uh, 0.75. And there is no ammonia in the inlet stream. So we are going to produce the ammonia. Click on enter. Now you see the inlet stream will be calculated again. Uh, now go to the stream conditions. And here the mass flow is 360. Okay, we have a 1000 kilo per hour mass flow. Now you can see the reaction in uh, inlet stream condition. Inlet is essentially 170 bar pressure, 1000 kg per hour. Compound amount nitrogen, hydrogen, and ammonia. Now I just need to set up. Now I have done with the set up of inlet stream, which is calculated, and it is done blue in the flow sheet. So what now I need to do? I will go to the settings. Here I will go to the reactions. In reaction, you will see a default set. In the default set. Click on the plus sign here. That is in the chemical reaction. Choose the equilibrium reaction. Now, what you need to do here? Name it as ammonia production. Uh, description NH3 from N2 to N H. Ah, uh, this is. Not required in this case, but most of the cases when you had a chemical flow sheet, you have more than one reaction. In that case, it is really required because you have a lot of uh, other elements that are involved in your simulation, but that are not involved in your reaction. So to write the description and the name is the really good practice in those cases. So you just need to select all the elements that are included. So you need to select all the included elements. Please, as you are to calculate the conversion of nitrogen. Will be our base. Uh, we need to add the stoichiometric coefficient. Nitrogen it is minus one. It is minus three four hydrogen and the two mole of ammonia is produced. So you can see here the equation is N two plus H two. The the sign of the the symbol reaction is two N H. So this is a equilibrium reaction. Now this is valence. Now we will come to progressivity. No, it is a partial pressure. It is a liquid state. No, it is in a vapor state. Why? Because we are using the gases. Uh, now, even partial pressure it will be the bar. So we are using everything in the bar, and our equilibrium constant is also in bar state. And uh, here we are not calculating the equilibrium constant from this equation. We don't know it as a function of temperature. We know its value, which is 1.2. So now, what we are going to say? Click on OK. So this is the ammonia product reaction is added here. So you can double click and check. For yourself, okay, all the properties are correct or not. Now uh, close it. Now go to the reactor. Here, uh, as we know, the inlet stream and the reaction temperature we want same. So this is the isothermic reaction. And if you click on isothermic, the flow sheet will automatically calculate the automatically simulate the reaction. And here you can see there is no warning, no error. So now our reaction. is simulated our equilibrium reaction is simulated and also our reaction is also simulated what you need to do now to check the properties parameter but i will do now i will go to the insert here i will add the property table i will add four property table the reason is that 
for the four strings here inlet one inlet two now you will see for the inlet string i want temperature pressure molar flow and uh, just to be very sure or to show it to someone uh, i what i will do nitrogen and the molar fraction of hydrogen you can see these all are as such as we have selected uh, wait a second uh, in the inlet i don't want molar flow i want mass flow because we have simulated it based on the mass flow. okay now i will go to the outlet stream one for outlet stream one i want temperature pressure uh, you can say mass flow and then i will go to the molar mixture nitrogen molar mixture hydrogen molar fraction in mixture of hydrogen molar fraction mixture of ammonia okay so you say this stream is rich in ammonia and uh, now i will click on the this property table and add here the stream 2 and same properties i want here molar fraction nitrogen molar fraction uh, mixture hydrogen and molar fraction mixture uh, ammonia you see it as it is a isothermic reaction the temperature is constant in outlet and inlet and uh, uh, here the mass flow is equally divided and uh, uh, you see ammonia is also here a little bit of Uh, nitrogen and hydrogen is left in this stream. Now here, uh, nitrogen and hydrogen is there, but there are more left because it is not as much prominent as this. What I will do? I will double click on this and add the equilibrium reactor. I just want an equilibrium reactor. Sometimes you want volume, sometimes you want height, and uh, I want the conversion of nitrogen. Let's add the hydrogen. And now you. Uh, for me, the volume of the reaction is one meter cube. The height of the reactor is two meter. So you can calculate the dia and other things. Now nitrogen conversion is eighty zero point five three nine. So now what will be left for us is now to how to increase this conversion, and then in the subsequent series we will see how we gonna increase this conversion if we know our k as a function of temperature. so what as a chemical engineer our objective is to maximize the conversion so what we will do now we will choose k as a function of some temperature and then we will figure out at which temperature we are getting the best conversion and according to that we will simulate our reactor or we will operate our reaction at this temperature and at the subsequent part we will learn how to separate this a reaction mixture and uh, slowly will develop a process that will be a complete in itself from raw material to production of product that is the uh, ammonia so this is just uh, now we are closing this uh, for the equilibrium simulation of the uh, equilibrium simulation of a reaction so this after this we will take this example as to simulate the uh, what is will be the temperature at which we will get the maximum conversion and then we will go for the separation of the reactant and the products thank you